Hi, it's Rebecca from RebeccaAdamsBiz.com. In today's video, I'm talking about 2016 is creeping up on us. When I'm recording this video, it is Friday the 18th of December. And, you know, I want to know, have you got a kickbutt plan for next year? Have you started planning next year already? Now, a lot of people, as they get to the end of the year, any year, um, they sit there and they start looking at the negatives, they start thinking what a rubbish year it's been and so on and so on. So what I want you to do is actually think as you watch this video, you know, how has 2015 treated you? Did you go to any concerts? Did you make any memories? Did you go on holiday? Did you go out and take photos of things? Did your child start walking for the first time? Did you have a baby? Did you get engaged? Did you get married? You know, lots and lots of things. I want you to really kind of thing Did, does it make you excited does it make you happy does it make you you know does it make you sad um and there's a lot of questions you need to ask yourself too in life and business but also you know you need to jot down what worked in 2015 or the year you're watching this what actually worked what didn't what can you remove or who can you remove if they're actually stressing you out as they always say remove negativity and also what can you improve what can you improve for next year so that it's you're not repeating the same the same you know you're not walking in the same steps like in the snow you need to make your own journey your own steps now having a strategic plan in place for the following year for example you know when you're releasing programs when you're releasing services whether you're setting up a business when you're planning a baby, when you get married and so on and so on. It's great because then you need to, because you've got that plan, because you've already started um, planning it all out, you know, you can get things in order. You can put all your personal things in first into your, your planner and it also reduces stress not only for you, but also your family, and as I say, the ripple effect, the people around you and everything else. Um, and you also know what's happening. You know what's going on. You know in July, you're going away on holiday, or you know in December, obviously it's Christmas every year. So, but you know, planning out week by week is absolutely fantastic, great. I highly recommend, you know, exactly what days of the week you're doing stuff on. And it's great when you run a, a business that you can have dis different projects and tasks going on um, and obviously you can train your head that you're going to focus on the one project until it's finished so again that reduces stress now have you got a planner sorted i and i'm going to show you i use passion planner that is www.passionplanner.com i have the a4 size passion planner this is 2015 I also have 2016 here, which is brand new, um, but it is called passionplanner.com. I'm trying to get it so it doesn't, so the light doesn't go on it. Um, passionplanner.com, absolutely brilliant. I'm not an affiliate, but I swear by this planner. It is amazing. Now, within this planner, um, basically, it's absolutely fantastic. You can dream big you can break it down and you can work at it and then what you do this is an example of your layout your weekly layout here um, and also your example of your your goals and your targets and everything else and i will quickly flick through i do it so that it's all color coded so i highlight things i block things out of my time and everything else and this is next year and you can see it's actually um, like this. So it's all planned out each day, a week to view. Um, and then you can actually, it's got the times on there as well. It's got quotes and it's got a personal to-do list over here and a work to-do list. Um, or either or, I can't see, it's backwards. <laughs> and then you can put all your plan and everything down the bottom. It is phenomenal so i mean when you're planning out 2016 or whatever year you're watching this on always remember to add in your days off add in your personal things whether you've got doctor's appointments or you've got you've got anything always plan also in self-care you need to 
self-care and look after yourself it's not being selfish as i've said on another video you need to self-care sometimes you need to switch off you cannot be going 24 7 365 it's not happening you will end up burning out and going into hospital so do make sure you have self-care whether it just be a morning to yourself that can just chill cup of coffee read a book watch some programs that you've been recording and um, anything like that please make sure that you put your self-care in also in your planner, make sure you account for time off for yourself, for your children if you've got any, for your partner, with your with your family and go out and make memories. That's the most important thing. So get yourself together, a kick book plan, get yourself some targets and goals. We all love goals. So a few examples I've got written here are, do you want to increase your subscribers to your business? Do you want to double your income? Do you want to attend a convention? Do you need more time off? Um, and try and cover as much as possible and everything so that going into 2016, before we even get there, going into 2016 or whatever year you're watching this, um, you can plan as best as you can and as much as you can. And then it's not a mad panic and a mad scramble at the beginning of the year trying to plan everything. Now, I plan my year on a separate piece of paper before I actually put it in my passion planner. And why I do that is that I always do it in pencil so that if I make a mistake, I get an A4 piece of paper and put January to December, work out when things are happening within the year, um, and then it's much more, I then transfer it into the planner and it's much more um, convenient for me because then I can rub it out and if I make a mistake or whatever. And it keeps me motivated during the year. Now, you've got to enjoy planning the year ahead. Now, it's quite not difficult to plan a year, but what I'd highly recommend is the brain, it gets, to, it's too far in advance. So what I do, I plan, you know, what's going on each month and then I shimmy it all the way back down and I break it down into months. I break it down into quarters, months, weeks and days on what I'm doing. Um, and I always focus on one task or project at once um, because then I know my brain is, I've got 100% attention on the task at hand, on the project at hand. If the project's massive, I break it down into little tasks and break down each day into what I'm doing. And then at the end of the week and at the end of the month, I evaluate everything. And it's great because in the passion planner, I'll show you next year, otherwise I'm showing you all the bits that I'm doing. Um, at the end of the, it's a monthly reflection, and then you can write down everything and reflect on the previous month. They have one also um, that you can actually, you know, plan plan your days out and things like that. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely brilliant planning the year, planning the weeks, planning the months and everything else. And then as I evaluate, I treat myself and praise myself for accomplishing and getting further, further down the journey. So the big year goal that I may have, I break down into quarters, then break down into months and then break down into weeks so that I'm getting further and further towards my massive goal, which may be December 2016 or whatever year, as I keep saying. Um, but you know, it's quite hard to think, oh, well, that's ages ago. I've got 12 months left to go yet. Whereas if I break it down and find out what I need to do to accomplish, you know, month one, month two, month three, what for done, month four, five and six, what for done. And then halfway through the year, I evaluate how far further towards that December goal I am. Um, and then, and then, yeah, I mean, I go from there, you know, and you can do the same thing. So if you want an amazing planner, there's a lot of planners out there that are absolutely brilliant. I like colors. So I have highlights, pens everywhere and I highlight everything. Um, but you know, you've got to have a kit book plan for the year. You don't want it to be boring. You don't want your days to be the same and you need something to look forward to. We all need something to look forward to. So enjoy planning come over and subscribe to my channel wherever the button is i would love you to follow me on youtube also comment below and let me know whether you have a passion planner and if you have a different planner let me know what planner you've got and um, how you are you a visual person do you like sticking photos and things do you have a goal board anything else um, and what you've got planned for 2016 or whatever year you're watching this that would be fantastic i would love to hear from you I will see you soon.